Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get a new private server and this is with Project Cloud. And these are the developers that previously made Rocket V3 if you guys used that private server before. So this private server will let you get every single skin in Fortnite for free. So this private server is very similar to EasyFN as it lets you play old seasons in a private server and lets you get all the skins in those old seasons as well. So if EasyFN is not working, you guys should give this private server a try. And you'll also be able to friend your friends and you'll also eventually be able to join them. They're going to add that in the next update. But as of right now, you can in fact friend your friends. So before I show you guys that, if you guys have not already subscribed, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos just like this about different private servers. And I'll be sure to keep you guys updated about whenever a new private server comes out or if there are any patches. And if you guys have not already, make sure you guys like the video. Let's try to get this video to 150 likes. That'd be really amazing. So the first step is you want to join the Discord server. And this Discord server is going to be called Project Cloud. And I'll have the link for this in the description. And it should take you to this announcements page. So once you're in the Discord server, you just want to scroll down and you want to go down here to FN Builds and you just want to click on that. And you want to download this easyinstaller.exe by just clicking on this button. So then it should download right over here. And it's really small, it's only about eight megabits, so mine has fully installed. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna just click on this easy installer and open it up. So you guys can see we have easy installer up and running right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna select a Fortnite build that you wanna download. So this private server, it will only work on versions 14.6 and earlier. So I'll, you guys wanna download 132 if you want the latest Fortnite skins in your private server. Um, it may also work with 15, they just have not tested it yet, but just to be safe, you should download 14.6, which is 132. So now it's gonna ask you which one you want to download. So it says, please enter a number of the build that you wanna download and the number will be on this side. So it says 14.6, you wanna put in the um, 132 as the number. So that corresponds with 14.6. And then you just wanna click on enter. So then when it asks you for a game folder location, you just wanna create a new folder on your desktop. So you should right click, click on new, and then create a new folder. And you just call this like cloud. And then you'll be good with that. And then if you wanna see the path, because it says game folder location, double click on it. And then you're gonna click up here and then you wanna copy this, and then you can simply paste it into here, and then press enter. And then it will start downloading to that folder. And this can take up to 30 minutes sometimes, it really depends on the version that you download. The version 14 is only 30 gigabytes, so it should not take that long to download. So once it has finished downloading, it will look something like this. It'll have two folders, the engine and the Fortnite game. And if you download season 14.6, version 14.6, um, the file size will be considerably smaller than season 13 and before all the way up to maybe chapter 1 season 5 or something. Um, they're only 30 gigabytes because they reduced the file size. So if you want a smaller file size, just download 14.6 and this will work all the way up to chapter 1 season 1. You can download any version all the way up to chapter 1 season 1 if you want to. So after you've downloaded the Fortnite build that you would like, all you have to do is go back over to the downloads channel right here. And then you can see they will have the latest release, whatever the latest release is as of right now. Um, it's right here as of the 24th. So if you just click on this, it will download the latest release of the private server. And then it should download to something like this. And then if it says discard, all you have to do is click on keep because this is not a virus. It just says it's not commonly downloaded. So if it did have a virus, it would obviously detect it and stop it. Um, so you can leave your antivirus on. If you want to drag this over to your desktop just to make everything simpler, that is what I would do. So once it is on your desktop, you can just extract it by right clicking on it and then clicking on extract to project cloud and make sure you have WinRAR downloaded for this. If you do not have WinRAR, it will have a different icon over here, but you do need WinRAR because it's a .rar file. Okay, so once you've extracted it, it should look like this. So you just want to double click on it. So the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the Fortnite launcher.exe and you just want to open that up. So once you open it up, it should look just like this. And then the next step that you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to click on the three dots. And then you want to go over to the place, I'm just going to blur this part out, but you want to go over to the place that you downloaded to. So I downloaded season 14 to this folder on my desktop. So I just click on the desktop part and then I scroll down to the folder and then you just want to click on OK once you have found the folder. And then once you find the folder, it'll look like this. You can have the Fortnite path right there. 
and you'll be good to go for that step. So the next step is you want to go back to the Discord server and go to the download section. And then you want to click on this link right here. If you go down here, you'll have a link to create an account and you just want to click on the link. And then when you go over here, it'll let you sign up. So you simply just want to create an account. And then once you create an account and logged in, it will take you to a page just like this. So the next step is you want to enter in the email that you had on that website and the password as well into here. So then once you've entered in the correct stuff that you put on that website, you are done with that step. So the next step that you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to click on start.bat. You just want to double click on that. So once you click on start.bat, it will look something like this. Then once you have that working, simply just click on launch and then click on season 13 14. If you're playing on season 13 14, we're playing on season 1 to 13, just click on this one. So I'm playing on season 14, so I'm just going to click on this one. And then now you just have to be patient and wait for it to launch. So now we are into the game, you just have to click on Battle Royale, and then you'll be sent to the lobby just like this. And then now if you go into your locker, you'll see that you have all the skins in the entire game, and you can get any of them that you want. So I'm just going to equip this skin, and it also has all the edit styles, so you can put on any of these edit styles that you want. And it also has a bunch of OG skins as well, so I'm just going to scroll down here so you guys can see all of the skins that it has. It has all the skins all the way up to chapter 2 season 4. So if you want to use the Renegade Raider, you just have to look that up and then you can find the Renegade Raider. And now you have an OG Renegade Raider in your lobby. And the friending system also works, so all you have to do is add your friend on here and then you'll be able to join them as long as you have the same version of Fortnite that they're using as well. There are also every single emote in the entire game. So there's some built-in emotes as well as non-built-in emotes. So this one is built in, so I'm just going to equip that and show you guys that we can use the built-in emotes. There's the Go Cat Go emote. I do say this in like every single video, but it's a cool emote to use to show your friends that you're using like built-in emotes. Um, but you cannot use any of the built-in Marvel emotes. It's not going to let you because they require challenges to be done to be complete. So you cannot use any of those. However, you can also use all the ones from previous seasons or any season that does not require that challenge to be completed. So I'm just going to show you guys one more. There's the levitating emote and that one is built in as well. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do all of these different built in emotes. The first one is this, the Venom emote. So that looks kind of weird, but he is definitely doing the emote. And then we also have the Hero's Beacon emote, which is also built in. And then we also have the Levitating emote, like this. And then there's also the TNT emote, that'll make you into like a cartoon. And then the Go Cat Go emote. So this one just makes your character look really weird whenever it does its built-in emote. And then finally, I just want to show you guys all of the OG styles where you can get the purple Skull Trooper or the pink Skull Trooper. So I'm going to show you guys with the Skull Trooper. You can actually get the OG Skull Trooper. If you just click on the Skull Trooper, you can get the purple version of it. So you'll see that I have the OG Skull Trooper in my lobby. And then you guys can also see that you can also get the pink ghoul trooper. And then if you click on the pink ghoul trooper, you also get the pink variant of that, which is the OG variant of the pink ghoul trooper. And then you can do like all the built-in emotes as well. So yeah, you can do pretty much anything with all the stuff in your lobby. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this about new private servers and any updates. And I'll see you guys in the next one.